in this video i'm going to be taking you through an in-depth explanation of all the features that this phone has what makes it special compared to some of the latest phones that are currently in the market especially compared with some of the latest samsung phones that are being produced currently and i'm going to take you through an in-depth explanation of all the features every function of this phone so please if this is your first time of coming across this channel don't forget to click on the like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the reason why i say you should click on the like is for this video to be recommended to a whole lot of other people that might be interested in this information which i'm going to share on this video Samsung A series has been one of the most selling phones from Samsung. After the launch of A30, then Samsung now decides to launch the A31. And the question is what makes this phone different from the A30 that was launched before this A31 was also launched. Now when you look at the back, it's shiny. And I actually like this phone for one thing, the back is actually made up of plastic is not glass and this phone uses type c charging ports compared to some of the samsung phones that have been produced right now some of them easily go off but this samsung a31 is very strong and rugged and i will be explaining some of these things when you look at the body it's shiny you, s you look at it it's not that slim but I think is okay and this is a budget phone and as you can see on your screen this is where the sim tray is it uses two sim with an a single sd card that's where the sim side is and that's where you the, this is the sim tray so when you connect the sim on it it works and both sim can switch to 4g automatically depending on the one you want to use this phone is very responsive especially when you are using it when you are pressing it it responds very fast it's not like some of those phones that you press that it will take almost a whole year before it can be able to load when you look at it you can see when i'm as i'm pressing it it's responding very fast so we'll be coming to the camera i'm going to explain some of the special camera features on this phone this phone has panorama and it also has professional shoots depending on the one you want to use and it also has portraits you can use portraits for the your cameras maybe you want to capture yourself you can use a portrait and it also has the normal picture now let's come to the settings now this phone has face id and it also has fingerprint the fingerprint is not like the old traditional one whereby you can put your finger at the back this for this phone the fingerprint is actually on the screen it also has face id face recognition you can use your face to unlock the phone that those are the security features which are on the on the phone you can either use a face to unlock the phone or you use your fingerprint which is actually on the screen you can also create a pattern a pin or a password as your security feature on this phone in order to lock your phone so that people cannot be anyhow person cannot gain access to this phone now let's come to the battery the storage and the memory when you look at this phone it comes with 4 gig ram and 64 gig inbuilt storage that doesn't mean that you can you still can't install an sd card to create more space well actually this phone was built to have 64 gig storage and 128 storage so depending on the particular one in which you want to buy but this particular phone i'm using for this review has 64 gig storage some of them have 128 gig storage but this particular one has 64 so as you can see on your screen this phone has so many other features which we are not going to be talking about but it all depends on what you, you that is using the phone how you want to set it how you want to configure the phone to function it all depends on you so we'll be coming to this other aspect it has optimization you can optimize the phone so that it can be able to run fast depending on how you want to use it then we'll be coming to the language it actually has 
a whole lot of languages installed on this phone. You can either select the particular one in which you want to use it, you want the phone to work with. So you can select the language and a whole lot of things. Then the next thing we are going to be doing is coming to this part. It actually has talkback, visibility enhancement, hearing enhancement, interaction and density. Depending on what you want to use the phone, you can configure it for talkback. Maybe for those that have one or two problems, disability or whatsoever, you can set all these settings. Now when you come to this part, you can see the phone information, A31. You can also check the IP address and the IME information and some other personal information. Now let's come to the software. You can see this phone uses One UI version 2.1, uses Android 11 version. It can still be updated. You can also see privately configured information on the phone, which is the baseband and some, and some other features. This is the battery level. You can also see the battery status, the battery capacity, and a whole lot. Then we are going to be coming to the software. When you look at it, that's just how it looks like. It has a normal sound. You can set the sound settings the volume and the sim size you can see it uses two sim and a whole lot of settings which you, which are on this phone and when you compare it with some of the latest phone you can see that this phone is still updated the only difference is the android version please like share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching